I'm going to fake the idea that I got a request to discuss my recollections of um, Ronald Reagan. I heard his name as a kid when I was eight or nine years old or whatever it was on Woodstock when uh, John Baez said something about um, Ronald Reagan Zap. And, you know, in light of what I know now about the Zappas and John Lennon's White Album, I think she probably was in on Gail Burstall. But at the time, I was naive. I thought people who had chosen sides in the Vietnam War it made me sick and scared what was going on. I was just a child, of course. They, my stepmother insisted on taking me to her. I was too young to fathom any of what was happening. I assumed people were just getting loose. You know, I didn't really know what else to think. I admired the peace marches. I went on quite a few of them. And my sister had a lot to say, sometimes publicly, about what was happening. She was mortified by the protests. I saw the Chicago demonstrations. People have long since forgotten those. My mother was fighting for her life after hemorrhage. She went to the Washington, March on Washington. You know, was, I was uh, eventually very brutally attacked, and I was too confused. I am pretty lingual in the, when it comes to the issues that were affecting me. And of course, we had a society with a great deal of shame mongering, so I was hard pressed to figure out what to say and who to say it to. I was being told by people who kidnapped me that the CIA had miniature cameras everywhere. You know, and like everyone else, I was always skeptical of stories like that, but now I know it was probably true. They were pornographers, but Reagan loomed his head at some point against Jimmy Carter, who wanted to have a solar energy bank. I thought that sounded like a good idea. And I was uh, living with people who were grossly ridiculing me as like some kind of freak they used to call me and so forth. If so, their system of uh, operations made me one purposefully so they could do that, you know. I mean, I was just following what I thought were basically the civil norms, keeping up with the flow and trying not to be, you know, anything but a deaf person who was trying to stylize what little I have for the arts. And um, Reagan was um, bellicose and mean. He was calling liberals names, and my father was a liberal, so I didn't like him. I didn't see why anyone would. He started doing terrible things in Central America. I don't see how anybody could go along with it. But he had boys in the media who were saying it was right and all of this stuff, you know. G. Gordon Letty coming around, out of get, getting out of prison, saying it was right and stuff. And obviously the powerful adventurers in America. Pet News was saying that they thought his Iran-Contra scam was right. You know, but they, these terrorists in the Middle East have just blown up some Marines. He's giving them Exocet missiles, so all of the North can mine Nicaraguan harpers, and that's right. I don't really understand that. You know, I sympathize more with poor Benjamin Lander, who got killed in Nicaragua. I don't know how I can make sense of it. You know, people seem to me to be uninterested in the fact that they were victimizing innocent people. I've never believed in the domino theory. I've always felt the only way that a country who was offered the prospects of good neighbor relations with a healthy functioning democracy could fall to communism is if they were attacked by a healthy functioning democracy for no apparent reason. You know, and that's the only way the domino effect would ever work. And yet here we were doing that exact stupid thing. So I never liked it, you know. And then I'm working in this medical library, and ha, 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 AIDS comes. I was like, what in the world is this? 
You know, I was devastated. I saw pictures other people have never seen of medicine before they had any medicine for it, you know. And then they're laughing about it. I was like, this is sick. How can anybody laugh about that? You know, how can anybody shrug it off? I couldn't understand it. But over-empathy was being sort of tossed around as queer and so forth. And, you know, they I didn't have the size that I did what they were really setting up. But I figured, you know, if they're going to make, if they did this, they're going to make a sting plan to start testing everybody. And sure enough, I get a call from Weird World Cell to Mount Desert Island. And a lot of stuff corroborates my views about what all of that meant. Meanwhile, Reagan was um, uh, successfully lobbying media through David Bowie and Penis Gabriel, with Robert Fripp jumping down Hold PP, waving his gyrations around, saying, Sacred Penny, Sacred Penny. This is an identity theft. And who are they working with on this plan to make me the fall guy but John Shulman, who was busted by the Smithsonian for museum theft himself? They're not going to go and make sure that the chain of people who were involved in that up to Donald Trump also get exposed by Smithsonian. And they've got mercenaries who've investigated and admitted Hitler escaped standing guard over that issue, you know, saying Oswald acted alone and all of this baloney. They're not going to do it. So, Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, who was always using Shulman's word on me for this horrible, horrible hate craft, is just going to endorse it. Say, well, we win. So, you know, pack your bags, Donna. Get out. 